Recording has begun. I might do the Baron tomorrow. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world no, Phil and Collins, that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Is it coming in the air tonight? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. <laughs> uh, recovery charm, we don't need. You summoned, he came, he answered the call. See what game I was playing on December 7th, 2019. Well, it was most likely Darkest Dungeon or RimWorld. But I could probably check that somewhere. Or you could check, uh, where's a good one? Sully Gnome. Sully Gnome, you can check streaming stats. Can you see the button? Your stress goes up. That's why you always watch in theater mode. I won't see it. Theater mode. I can understand that. Yeah, Cirque, actually. Are you gonna kill a hag? And the follow button's right next to settings, yeah. You can use Tamper Monkey. I wonder if um, better Twitch TV, you can remove it as well. Beats TV. Is anybody be followed? Yeah, that's where most people found the stream from, is Darkest Dungeon. And then the second highest is probably Rimworld, yeah. Maybe we'll go kill the hag. Joining the bottle, but... I mean, the other option is to kill the prophet. Uh... We do that, Morgan levels. So I couldn't have anyone else level or else where you could spawn Wolf. Although, I mean, if we're going to spawn Wolf anyway, Morgan's going to go to it. So it might be fine. Should be pretty easy to find some on the streamer on the internet. That's right. So looking for Dark Station tips at the time and never left. Thank you for that. Hmm. The downside is if Wolf spawns, we don't have the means to get our upgrades. That's the only reason I don't want him to spawn yet. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm. And like six billion streamers? Uh, sometimes. It depends on which lines I'm, I'm currently telling people. Use Chrome element settings and you got it removed. Thanks to Leno. It's awesome. Thank you, by the way, Leno. Welcome in. I don't think I want four level fives yet. So I think I am going to go to the wields. The wield it is. Uh, Captain Kane. Fear mankind. Well, crap, Captain Kane. What's up with that? All right, Yumi. Look at Yumi. Holy Christ, Yumi. Yumi's got it going on. This content is brought to you by the good old YouTube algorithm. It works like 2% of the time, Keith. Yeah. I knew I recognized your name when you first came over, too. From Billy and Kirby Raid? Dev Clouds? Billy and Kirby raided me? I don't remember him raiding me. Uh, Dab Cloud raided me. But I don't remember Billy raiding me. I know I know of them, but but maybe. It's been a, I've had a lot of raids, so how's it going, Finn? Welcome in. Inspector, do you want to go kill a granny again? Of course you do. What kind of dumb question is that? Dev Cloud? Yeah, it might have been. All right. Uh, well, level four. None of our level fours, if we take any of them, they're going to level up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. So I'm probably just going to level up all, or, uh, well, I mean, we have some level threes with full upgrades, too. So, like, Woozy could go without us having to do anything. Beast Hater, tough. That's good. 
All right, Hytala, Photomania, Unerring. Are you going to level up for this? Uh, No, you're not. You're going to be one off, which is good. Doi, Twilight Dreamer is good. Zoophobia is not. Nervous Bleeder is not. Christopher. Warren's foe. Looks like Hytala is going. This is going to be a lot scarier. I try to only go to the veteran champion wields, aside from this one quest with a man at arms. Oh, well. It's kind of crazy you can remember those. Do the barks like take me out this week mean anything? No, they're just they're just flavor. Just flavor. Gear King, can't tell you how long it uh awesome it is to have a long, tiring day and then come home and just turn on your stream. To actually relax. The awesome community. Man, what, everyone's buttering me up today. Gear King, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Gear King. I don't know what's going on today. But uh, thank you, Gurking. I'll take it. Uh, we probably want to take Wicked Slice for the boss itself. Yeah, I just crawled away in the middle of the night. I don't know what happened. Back to young Adam. <laughs> uh, goodbye, gold. Goodbye. Potting is such not sweet sorrow. Not sweet sorrow at all. All right. I really don't, uh, I mean, aesthetic, it's kind of hard to know when it's screwing you over or not, but. Get rid of fear mankind. Do I want to lock in evasive? I kind of do. Goodbye, gold. Goodbye. Oh lord, get me out of this place for us some more money. Too much. I know. I'm not really a smiler either. Do you have any smilers in chat though? Goodbye, I'll remember you fondly. Gold of mine. Right, let's go. So I like to or remove quirks early game. Uh it's cheaper. It's cheaper well I mean until you get the reductions from the sanitarium, it's cheaper to do it when they're lower level. Uh, as they level, it's going to get harder, and as they get reinforced, uh, it's going to become even more expensive. So, it depends. There's some traits that I will lock in for sure, but if you do have a trait in mind that you really want to lock in, uh, don't take them to a dungeon if they have five. Like, like here. If we wanted to, to make sure that he keeps quick reflexes, we can actually not worry about locking it in if we don't want until he gets five. But if he has five, it could fall off in the next dungeon. So... Yeah, it just really depends. Some of the, like, really premium ones, for instance, like Hippocratic on your Vestal, it doesn't matter what level. If you get Hippocratic rolled on your Vestal, you just lock that in right away. All right. Uh, this is going to be kind of scary. On the way there. We're going to use a lot of Torchlight. I think we probably... I mean, this is a good team against Shambler again, though. It's the Giants that I'm scared of. No deaths yet. Giants that I'm scared of. Um, let's not go zero light trinkets. Nor are we going to go like light based trinkets in general. So we're going to go Barristan's head on the front here. Um, I mean, that's where the real pain is going to happen. It's on the front line. Tree branch smack down. So, I could even go with Tough Ring, too. 
Uh, puts him out to 35 protection. It's probably more important that we just stun the giant, honestly. Stun the giant is probably most important. So let's take Feather Crystal and Tough Ring. Our Jester will take... I mean, what's going to hit our Jester in the back for high damage? Okay, you can shut it again if you need to. Nothing really is going to hit him in the back for high damage. Only the giant. We're only concerned about the giant. So we might not need Bearson's head. No, we're going to the uh, the wield, not the, the cove. Let's go and Salt Wookiee. Welcome back. Uh, all right. So on Yumi, we'll do Focus Ring on our High Woman. Yeah, let's not need torches in here. A magnanimous dispensation. What's going on today? Nard, thank you for the $50 donation. By explaining what streaming is, how to be a good streamer, or make a recommendation. You're always the first person I name. Get so much rights. This cutie is fire. So many good folks because goodness grows. Really proud to be part of it. Man, Narth, thank you. Thank you, Narth. I appreciate it. Thank you for the donation, the kind words. Yeah, let's not go for loot. Let's just go for uh. Let's just go to kill the boss. That's all, that's all we care about. So you know what? We are gonna take camo cloak. Uh, come to think of it. Uh, and then we're gonna do sharpening sheath here. We'll do ancestor's candle. Uh, we'll do feather crystal maybe. Should be all right. It's Anna versus feelings kind of stream. I know. What, what's up with all this? All right. I'm feeling all right about this overall. Uh, upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camping's good. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Uh, we want to take open veins instead of wicked slice for this. Uh, Parallel finesse. We got that. Upgrades, trinkets. Skills, camping, trinket skills. Camp. All right, let's do it. You had a feeling a lot of us could use that positivity today. Thanks, North. My favorite quirk for the Hellion, um, probably precise striker. Precise striker for the Hellion. Uh, luminous or anything with speed is good for her as well. Accuracy, depending on which trinket set you're using, it might not mean as much for her, but Precise Striker, I just, she really has high crit, she, and with camp buffs, uh, you can get her crit to an insane number. In addition to that, I almost always, or a lot of time, I pair her with a Man-at-Arms, and the Man-at-Arms um, also has, he has incredible camp buffs. So we're gonna go full light in this one. Food, shovels, torches, Hero interaction. Yeah, precise striker. I mean, slugger. Uh, luminous. I would lock in with her, probably. Her knowledge of horticulturalism she, she, and so role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Can dogs hit the back rank? Yeah, dogs can hit the back rank. Uh, I guess the most, the scariest thing, actually, aside from the giant, method in the wild corruption here. Uh, she's up here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Uh, the scariest thing in here, aside from the giant, a handsome reward is probably well uh, collected hymen again. We got really lucky with collected hymen earlier tonight, but uh, probably say. Back to Sass. Are they ever get Slugger lock in? Got it on a Hyben. Yeah, look at this. Pre Precise Striker locked in. Slugger. They also have Lurker and Night Owl. Where was this when we were doing our world first torch? The torchless world first thing. Yumi is like a god. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, I need to start prioritizing getting our tier 5 upgrades, so. I'm going to keep those heirlooms. As the light gains purchase, so wearing your bloodwork badge. And purpose is made rip clear. it off. Hopefully everything comes back well, Osprey. <laughs> How much bribe you to change Yumi to Mimi? <laughs> no. Hey, look, it's dogs. Decimated. Finale that dog. All right, well, there were dogs. Promise. Stress we can heal off. Rabies we cannot. So. Returns even the boldest gaze. Hit here, please. Right here. Look how delicious. No, 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 no. Okay. Crap. Press this advantage. Thought I wouldn't check. No Last quarter. time, should I tell you about it? No matter what, even if I didn't want to, huh? That's true. If if you were that name, you would end up die dying. You'd you'd die in a fist fight, but you would still die. Actually, it's the opposite in Rimworlds. In Rimworld, your character is like so resilient. I mean, there was that time you were laying next to uh, a bunch of mechs. We thought you were dead, and we went to hit the mechs with a mortar, and the mortar put out the fire on your body. And then you managed to come back and didn't even get a scar. <laughs> Playable you in this run already. Uh, so how to work, Kaiser, is if someone dies, I'm going to have to get more from the queue. Oh, However, community. if you spend Blues. your channel points and I don't get you, to you in the queue in this playthrough or like the next one or whatever, I just refund it all anyway. So you won't waste the channel points. Uh, I will only delete the channel points, I guess you could say when you become a character, whether it's this run or the next. So it's safe to do so if you'd like to. This fight is a lot scarier on veteran and champion than it is on Apprentice. Tyborg, think of the follow Tyborg. The reason why is on Apprentice, the Coltus Enchantress doesn't have a mark. Uh, these guys do... Okay, she's not going to friggin' mark us anyway. These guys do really big damage to mark targets. Um, but apparently that doesn't matter. So resilient, die to random headshot. Yeah, but more than likely, if you join the queue now, you won't get in this run. Confidence uh, I was pretty confident confidence. that we were going to beat this run on the first try. The all girls run will probably take me several tries. Okay, we got crit, but uh, we didn't have a mark on us, so it's not a big deal. All right, no marks. We're good. See you, and then you'll get in. You're next on the list, yeah. That one can't add more cats now. Oh, it'll be back. Yeah, I'm gonna re-add the Rimworld ones when we play Rimworld again. Don't worry. Shower return. Kaiserina. <laughs> Miss any more wholesomeness? I mean, kind of. No, not really. You know, you're next. That's why you're pretty salty. You really want someone to die. <laughs> As the fiend falls, I want you to succeed, but could you succeed a little less? Just for a little while? Just till I get in, and then you can start succeeding again. Floating in limbo till then. Yeah, they're floating in limbo at the moment. But some people were unhappy that I was going to refund the pet ones. The all female run is going to test how OP the Vestal and Helion are. Here's the secret behind that run I think the MVP might end up being the Antiquarian. It's 
very possible the MVP ends up being an antiquarian. A time to perform beyond Does anyone have any of the unique perks? Uh, we have a... Uh, we have an occultist with Twilight Dreamer, yeah. That's the only one, though. Continually onslaught. I think I need to play Minecraft with that run. Another Dark Bracer. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Uh, yeah, we got quite a ways to go. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I told myself I wasn't here for this one for loot. I'm gonna kill the boss. Especially with giants roaming around, so. I mean, we'll try to get as much loot as we can, but I'm not gonna risk as much this run. Is there any unique Shrieker quirks that would lock in? Uh, what's the name of the one? There is... What's the speed one? There's a speed one that's really good. I'm having trouble remembering the name of it. Corvid's Quickness? Is that it? Cor Corvid's Quickness? I'd probably lock that in, maybe. Malformed. They're so rare to get. That was funny, by the way, because the Grave Robber has a move that uses a pickaxe. You know what? Grave Robber is going to be pretty important as well. We're going to have to get fast, high damage Grave Robbers and hopefully uh, kill the Stress Casters super quickly. Oh boy, oh boy. Hate the friggin' ghouls. Hey, we used to the stun. That's, uh. That's really good. Got two Corbid positive quirks, one negative. Cost you like 8k to get rid of the, the blindness. Yeah. Oh, Corbid's blindness. Yeah, that's one of the worst ones, too. The birthplace of dread. It's a pretty rough one to get. Please don't stun. Uh, I thought we had resisted it because we resisted the first part, but... Now yeah, we could be in trouble. Okay, no crit and skull toss. We're fine. Corbid when we live in the COVID environment. So that hammer that people were asking about earlier uh, does additional damage to gargoyles in the the Garden Guardian. It's such a like useless trinket almost. What's his speed? Speed of nine. We're pretty buffed up with speed, so we might can get a heal in before we go. You have an immune disorder called Sevid. So it's just missing the O. Right. A trifling. Yeah, I don't victory. think the ghoul can one shot now. But a victory nonetheless. I mean, if we're leaving after that, we don't need the full stack of food. But uh... the match is struck. A blazing star is born. Shh, don't tell anyone. We're going to find a whole stack of rubies. You'll see. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Genital varied immunodeficiency disorder. Another secret room. What is happening today? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, my bad. This is a dungeon for loot. Tools or whatever by allowing it to replace shovels for blocks. Just, oh, that would be really nice. Yeah, Keith, I would go for that. That would be nice. Or uh, they could just do what they did with a pagan talisman. So the pagan talisman used to only give you damage, extra damage against the fanatic. Uh, but they added another stat to it. One, two, three. Uh, we can go ahead and camp here. Get buffs. The buffs will last all the way to the boss. Unless there's two battles in that hallway. There's not two battles in that hallway. Or if we get nighttime ambushed. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> let's let's wait on that. The more I think about it. These rooms are not very good at keeping secrets. Yeah. A Pretty easy fight too. Of skill and purpose. Yeah, I'd be all for a stonemason tool being a permanent shovel if you have it too. That'd be really awesome. I'd take it like every dungeon. Maybe that's why it's not a good thing. <laughs> well struck. Well struck indeed. Be wary. Triumphant pride We could still need that shovel. Fall. And I really want to hang on to the holy water in case we run into a collector mainly. The light, the promise of safety. Like keeping Seacrest. <laughs> now there's a name I haven't heard in quite some time. Greed is good. We love greed. A powerful blow. Uh, I should have. Yeah, it's probably too late. We're gonna camp here anyway, so. Alright, let's camp for buffs. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. So we're gonna get unparalleled finesse on both of our high women. And then Yumi, I believe. Yumi is the one that already has crap loads of crit. Let's give them some more. May the gods have mercy on any ambushes. Oh, you guys are... Oh, no, don't... Don't give me rabies right before the boss. I was just kidding. Three dodge. Forty-three dodge. Precision always dodge, power. always crit. GG. You say he doesn't trigger a post? No, it's because it is. Um, it doesn't have a damage coefficient. So if a move has a damage coefficient at all, it won't trigger any kind of repose on either side. Sweetie Chef sure looks different without his hat. Uh, you know what? Let's get a... Actually, never mind. We can't get an extra in. We could have got a heal in, but that's not worth it. may we find victory. Yes, yes. Radiant victory. Let's go kill a boss. Alright. So, for this boss, we want to trade out uh, open veins for Wicked Slice. Alright. Make sure you don't blink, because I don't think she's going to be alive for very long. If you want to see the veteran hag, she has such low health. I wonder why they gave her such low health compared to the all, like, all the other bosses. 
you, know, you know who else has low health? The Viscount. I'm always surprised how fast we kill the Viscount. The blood quickens. Um. Yeah, there's no real reason to do that. Just some damage in. Into the pot. Oh no. Not Hytala soup. Sorry, Hytala. I need to get proposed up. I'm gonna make her suffering short. Did you hear her reference as one of the hardest veteran bosses? Oh, not if you say double hyman. Double hyman will kill any level of the hag, no problem. You don't even have to touch her. Uh, she has an AOE, so the double repose just destroys her. And then you can just focus on the cauldron, and it's like nothing. I find her to be the easiest champion boss. 100%. The pot. It's unfortunate that she put one of the high winds to the pot, but he is what it is, I suppose. We usually beat her on round three or four. Yeah, that's the move I was talking about, the tinderizer move, but unfortunately we have a high wind in the pot, so we ended up doing basically nothing. We're going to Hellion and swan her out of existence. Rolling in it. Hopefully she hits with her AoE this round. She's just not using her AoE or else she'd already be dead. She has learned. She knows the strategy. Uh-oh. He's in the position. The wounds of war. That's what I was worried about. Oh, good time to dodge that. I explained the strat too loud. There we go. Darkness closes in. Oh, we only have her twenty six. <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. No finale kill for us. The wood is still poisoned. The way is still blocked. I think the hag sounds kind of like a murloc. Less people yeah, I can see that. We actually don't need the blueprint. Uh, we could still run into Shambler or Collector on our way down to the secret room, so. How do you critically hit a stationary cast iron blunt? It's a good question. How do you know that's... <laughs> Seems like it'd be hard to do damage to that thing. Especially with just like a dagger. Uh, I need to switch this off. In case we run into something. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Since so I want the daggers made out of. Like a lightsaber dagger. A titanium dagger. The dagger's made out of that stuff from those old commercials. Just play on TV all the time. The one that they have to prove to you that the knife can cut through like a tin can and then a steel pipe and 
Damascus steel. This is a stationary cast iron. Waiting to be spent. You just need to take off that mask so you can see what's going on. More greed? Should we be even greedier? I mean, we are in good shape. But I don't really know that we can, uh... There could be a giant in there. Um, no, nah, we should probably go. Are the gems worth more than the stack of money? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 3,500 each. More is better. You know what? More is better. Every good hyman carries a dagger of cauldron slaying plus two. Take the key. Nah, that's okay. And it's a friggin' giant. I knew that would happen. Yeah, if I had lost the food, we would have just had a hunger proc, so. Yeah, yeah I'm glad I did not do that. Alright, so this is the scary fight of this dungeon. The ground quakes. Giant is a weird word for a creature. A singular Great. strike. Got a key over the ruby. I know. I have thought about that. I mentioned it earlier that we should probably not take the ruby. And I was like, nah, we're going to come out here with a stack of rubies. <laughs> oh, look, it is a small... You love how this and not the boss is a scary fight? Yeah. I'm pretty scared of that huge. Impressive. Yeah, but I mean, I'm mitigating risk as well. I'm not going to just go full balls to the wall. And with the food, if we don't get a great drop from this, we can do the rest of the dungeon too, because we have enough food for the hunger procs. All right, we're gonna get smackdowns. Okay, no crit. It's how the high wind that's a scary fight. They don't seem to care. <laughs> Uh, do we go on and try to get shambled? This is a good team against Shambler. Uh, we still have camp buffs, so yeah, I think we do. I know I should throw down the ruby. I'm still not going to, though. Yeah, that would be max greed, yeah. Where are you fault? <laughs> uh oh. You called his name. We have no holy water or anything, so that's not good. As a gambler, blah, blah, blah. We summon the Shambler. Really about to break. Well. One time, say, when we be a Shambler, the one time. We still have camp buffs. The main concern is that we don't have uh, any holy water or bandages.
He resisted even with a crit. That feels bad. All right, gentlemen, I need you to repost this down to nothing. Good start. Uh, I should have hit that one, the bleed. That was a mistake. Also, you're sent a crit? Yeah. yeah. Unless it's a heal. Speaking of, we need a good occultist heal here. Stress healing, all these crits, yeah. Fifty nine percent chance to crit. It's going epic samurai. Welcome in. Hugs Chandler instead, maybe it just needs reassurance. <laughs> what is this? The hentai episode of the stream? You can post the imagery link if you want. There's a creative channel in there if, if you'd like to post it there. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, wherever is fine. Undulating tentacles. Scary. Jokes on you. Every episode is hentai episode. Hey! <laughs> Dodge crit. Good to go. The bottle. That's gold. That's money for us. That's <laughs> a little scary with no bandages, antivenom, or uh, holy water. Look, we're going to end up throwing down the ruby anyway and losing out on uh, 650 gold that we could add. Get me out of this dungeon. <laughs> Wait, what is that over there? No, get me out of this dungeon. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Uh, right after this screen. Yeah, I was getting worried there at the end. Uh, worst conditions possible. Zero death doors. Almost no stress. <laughs> yeah. but. Uh, after screen. Yeah, after this screen. Yeah. Spiritual doesn't do anything. Syphilis. Where'd you get syphilis from? Spotty fever. Risk taker. Hey, look, it's it's uh, rabies in trait form. I might keep that. Look at Risk Taker. Yumi, oh my God, Yumi is gonna have so much damage. 
What? Yumi has Slugger, um, Precise Striker, whatever it is, with a crit chance. Risk Taker, Lurker, which is plus 10%. My God. The worries. Yumi is an insane. It might be the best Hyuin I've ever had. That's insane. All right, let me split this recording.